Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back for another review. And today, I'm doing something I'm really happy about because I wanted to do this review for a while now and just never got a chance because I've wanted to do all the things. And, um, but I, I love this set. I think it's amazing. And I'm really quite happy that I'm doing it. It's quite exciting. So, um, so yeah, I'm doing today, I'm doing the PE12 Perfect Effect. Assault Force X. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. But um, it's basically their version of Reflector. And this set is awesome. What you get for the money you pay is fantastic. Got this relatively cheap, but I did get this a while ago. Now it seems to be that this one's more expensive. Um, there's two versions of this. There's the PE11, which is the... Um, cartoon accurate colours so they're all green and then there's the PE12 which is the toy accurate colours so they're, they're, they're the three different colours are the blue, the green and the red um, we got this one when it first came out, got it for a really good price I can't remember how much it was but it's gone up a bit now I don't know whether or not it's because this one's rarer or what the, what the difference is, I don't know why it's more expensive but Keep, if you can get this at a reasonable price, I would highly, highly advise it. It's a really good, really good piece. So this is the box. That's the front of the camera. Um, which looks similar to the camera that you get, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then it's got the, the names of them. So there's Vanguard, Sniper and Cannoneer. And then top, bottom, which is Japanese writing, um, which would probably be screaming not suitable for children, as lots and lots and lots of tiny parts, because there is, there's loads of them. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably what one of those says, what the other say, I don't know. Um, this is the back of the box, so you basically just get your, your product, products shots of everything that comes in it, and some action shots, the things you can do with it, which is pretty cool. So that's that. You get the clamshell with, as you can see, Lots of gaps and lots of little holes for lots of things because this comes with tons of accessories and it's amazing. We'll get onto that in a minute. You also get your instructions. There you go, instructions, which I will come back to because it shows you a couple of different things that you can do with these guys that I'm not going to get into on the review because this review is going to take forever otherwise. So there you go. So this, this is the other thing that you get with this. You get like um, an appendix on how to put, um, what's this for? Oh, to put his Gatling gun together. So how to put the Gatling gun together because apparently they must have missed it off the instructions. But nice pictures of the three bots. So you get Vanguard, which is obviously Viewfinder. You get Sniper, which is obviously Spectro. And you get Cannoneer, which is Spyglass. Which I think I got that right way around. Yeah. So that's that. Now on to the bots. So here is Spyglass. So he's a really, really nice bot. There's a close-up of his face. These have all got really, really lovely face moulds and they're all very, very different. So it's it's quite nice that you get that. So yeah, that's cool. So that's uh, that Spyglass. Then you get Spectra, which again, different face mould again. It's lovely. There you go. And finally you get Viewfinder. Which is also a very nice bot. These guys are very, very small. Um, if you want to know how big they are, here is um, what's he called? I can't remember what this guy's called. Flanker. Flanker. <laughs> here is Generations Legion, Legion class Flanker. Comes with Legion class worth. Um, and you can see there, they're not very big. In fact, G1 Swerve, they are the same size. So, he's not a big figure at all. Um, 
they're all the same size. So, so yeah, these are not a massive figure, but the detail in these is lovely. The articulation for these guys is amazing. So you get a ball jointed shoulder. It can do a full 360. It can move out as well. So that's great. He's got a ball jointed elbow. However, it will only move forwards and backwards because of the fact that this is, is, is hindered by this gray part here. He's not got no hand movement, which is unfortunate. His head doesn't move. It, it's got a little bit of side to side movement. It will, it will, to be honest, if you really wanted to force it, you could probably get it to turn, you know, side to side, but it's very, very stiff and there is a lot of stuff encumbering it, but it is on a ball joint. Um, he's got waist articulation, so he's got a waist swivel. He's got a knee, He's got a, his knees on a ball joint, but his knee will only go forwards and backwards. There's no side to side on this. And there is also an ankle tilt, which is fantastic for something of this small. Um, so, yeah, so they have got a lot of movability and a lot of posability. It's very, very, very nice. Quickly get onto all the accessories you get with this guy because there's tons of them. You get with this, you get your your nice little lens, which has got some amazing detail on it. It's really, 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 really nice. I think it's a fantastic piece. Apparently, there's repro labels for this, which I didn't even know. I saw a review about for this toy. I think it was Pew that had done a, a, a review for this, and um, it's got repro labels. And there is a silver sticker to go in there, but I quite like it like that. I like the black. I think it's a nice. It's look, it looks like a lens. So yeah, I, I really like that. Um, you get this, um, which is a riot shield, um, but also doubles up as the bottom of your camera. But yeah, also fantastic. You get the tripod, which does open up. So yeah, you get that, which will also clip together, which you can also double up as a Gatling gun. You get these rocket pods, which double up as your flash. You get this doohickey, <laughs> which um, does come into it later, but yeah, you can use this for a variety of things. It's very, 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 very versatile. Um, you get these bits, which are basically shoulder, they go on the shoulders, give them a bit of bulk, um, which becomes a viewfinder in the camera. You also get this, which is basically the barrel of the scope, gun you get that which is the scope for the sniper rifle and you get three of these lovely lovely guns so you get three of those you get three of these nice little dagger blade things and you also get three of these, which are tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. And this is what I was saying about lots of tiny things. These are really cool because these are your holsters for your daggers. So you can, these, these will fit onto a variety of different places because of those holsters, but you get three of those. Um, that's it. So, I'm just going to quickly show you some of the things that you can do and then I'll show you how to transform them into camera mode. So, these things will fit onto shoulders, like so, which is cool. Gives them a bit of bulk, as you can see. These guns will fit in their hands, like so, which is great as well. And then you can also get these rocket pods, which again, just slide, literally they slide. There's nothing to clip or move or anything. They just slide straight over the top of the arms. That's it. No messing about, just straight over, done. There you go, which is awesome. So that's them in their rocket pod mode. Um, you can use, there's a, there's a, I'll just move this out of the way a minute. On the inside of here, there's three stands, just ledges you can do. Um, but there's also a clip in here. 
like there, this thing, which is on a hinge and it will move side to side. So you can see that there. And the, he can hold this, it will fit in his hand and he can hold it. Like so, which is awesome. So you get like a right shield. Um, this also doubles up as a stand because when this is put together as a, can either be put together as, as I say, there's a couple of ways you can put this together. Um, this doohickey fits inside the lens like that. There's three ports in the bottom of it and there's three prongs on the end of the Gatling gun and they just pull together. And this will fit into viewfinder's chest like so, and you can use that as a stand. So he can, and then the other guys can sort of all stand around him. Um, this will also double up, I'll take this back out of his chest. This also doubles up if I get the, if I get this, this will, there's a peg here that you can put into his hand and he will put this over his shoulder like so and you can use it as a rocket launcher which is awesome. He will hold this as well, he will actually stand up with this in his hand um, which is awesome. The fact that you can get great, I mean you can get great balance with these guys. I mean, and you can get great poses with these guys. You can have him sitting down. There's all sorts of things you can do with it, you know, and he will stand. It, the posability of these guys is fantastic. Really, really, really good. I'll quickly show you on here that you can also make that lens into a rocket pack. I'm not going to go into detail of all the things you can do with these guys because I could do a review for half an hour of just talking about that. Um, as it stands, this video is probably going to be long enough as it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I mean about obviously him having that attached to him and having them all, all gathered around him. Um, that's what I mean with the rocket launcher. So he can, he can have it standing so it's over his shoulder. And... Um, and yeah, there's so many great things you can do with this. I absolutely love this set because it's so, so versatile. And it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. It's really, really, really cool. Right, now, to get it into camera mode, you want to take all the bits and pieces off, you guys. Oh, one last thing I will show you is these holsters in the back of their butts, if you can see. There's a hole just there, and there's a tab in the back of these, and these literally just plug straight into the back of them like that. So they get to hold them without holding them. Um, the great thing about this set is that nothing gets left. I know in some sets and in some toys, whether the third party or Hasbro, they come with accessories. And in certain modes, they're just left. You've got you've got literally nothing to do with them. You just you just have to put them somewhere, and um, it's a shame. And that's unfortunately how things get lost. And I think that happened a lot in the eighties with the G one uh, uh, toys. That these things would put you put to one side because you couldn't fit it into their alt mode, or you know they they wouldn't hold it in their robot mode. It gets left to one side and then it gets lost. And it's a shame because obviously you want your toys to stay complete and intact. Um, the great thing about this set is everything is used. Everything. There isn't a bit that does not get used in either robot mode or in camera mode. This all goes away in camera mode, by the way. One of the guns will also become a sniper rifle. So you get your sniper rifle barrel, turn it round so that's facing down plug it, there's a hole on the end of the barrel, you plug that into the port like that, so you get that long, elongated barrel, and then on the top of the, the gun is a, is a handle, which is where your, your scope goes on, so you literally just plug it onto the top of the handle like that, and it becomes a sniper rifle. Simple. Um, so, to put this guy into camera mode, 
like I said, make sure all your parts are off and done. And then what you need to do is, I'll start with viewfinder because he's a central guy, is you need to, and then I'm just going to transform the others so you don't have to see the th three transformations, is on the side of their arms, when you want to pull the arms down so that there's a, there's a hole just inside there, as you can see, pull his arms down. Before you do that, make sure that it's turned so he's facing backwards like that. And then pull his arm down and then it'll just tuck underneath him like that so it's it's properly tucked away. And then his arm will fold back on itself. So you've basically got a 90 degree angle on his arm now, backwards. The same with the other arm. Tuck it underneath him, fold it back. And then his legs will just literally fold over the top of his body like that. There we go. And then there's a clip, there's a tab in there, if you can see it. And there's a hole on that side, just there. And then tab those two together like that. And that's it. That's basically, the, this is this is going to become part of the main camera now. Um, as I say, make sure this is all clipped together. Um, it, it, it does all clip and click when you've got it all in the right place. So yeah, that's that's him in his in his little camera blocky mode. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's basically what you're looking for is to have that. It's the same with all the, with the other two. Right. So once you've done the last one and you've got all three like this. Whoops. Yeah, once you've got all three of these guys, viewfinder goes in the middle. It doesn't really matter which way around these other two go. Um, because these guys go that way. Now there's a peg on the side just there, there's a hole on the side just there, and they have all got one. So you just literally plug them together. So you just like that. And like that. So you'll end up with something that looks like that. Of the three of them together. That's what you get. And then what you need to do is you need to put all of these parts away. Because you have so many little tiny fiddly pieces. So, first things first. Your camera lens. On your camera lens, on these parts that say AFX. These pull off like that. Let's pop them off to the side. Again, pull off to the side. There's two of them, one on either side. So you're left with a see-through hole in your camera lens. This then folds open. This is how you get to your rocket pack, as you can see. That's the back of the rocket pack. So, um, so yeah, that's what you do. Then what you want to do is get your guns. And your guns will fit into here. So, let me just quickly make sure I'm putting this in the right way. No. So, you want to make sure that that handle on the bottom two, so you can see on the inside of there, is there's two holes and then one at the top. And you need to make sure that the handle on the bottom two is facing outwards. So it's like that. Same on the other one. Make sure your handle is facing outwards. And then, for the last one, on this third handle, is you need to make sure your handle is facing the opposite direction. So it looks like that. So you've got two, two facing one way, one facing the other. Then you need to just fold this up, fold it over, and that's your gun stored away safely. Just pop that to one side, and then with the doors, what you need to do is get these little these little blades with the holsters still attached. And on the inside of the door, you'll see there's an impression. I don't know how well you can see this, but on the inside of the door is an impression of the blade, and you just pop it in so it's facing that way. There's a little hole that will fit that blade and that holster into like that. So you're left with that basically on the inside of your door. 
do that with your other one just to slide these holsters in these blades into the holsters you just basically slide them through the gap like you need to make sure that the bladed end is on the shortest part otherwise these don't stay in very well so just always make sure that the blade the curved part is on the small end and the flat part is on the bit that curves round and then what you need to do is as I say fold, pop, uh, there. pop these in here and then you've got two done then all you need to do is there's writing on the inside of there just make sure that your writing is the same way up otherwise these don't fit in properly so you just make sure all the writing is the same way and then there's two two whole tabs two tabs there and a tab there and there's two slots on this side and a slot there on that side so you can see where they need to be just tab that in like that and there you go that's that it's done pop that to one side so that's you three guns and two blades done and gone and hidden next thing you want to get is your shield and then these shield parts all fold out like i say you need those out you need them out and out of your way so if you can just fold them out the way so they're all flat on the bottom of here so they're completely out your way then and then what you want to do is get your last blade and your last holster and on the inside of there, again, is an impression of the blade with a hole in the middle of it. As you can see just there. That's what you had with the um, with the other one on the inside of the lens. So you just push that into that hole. That hides your blade. And then you want to get your sniper barrel. And on this side... You can see there's a hole just there and this will slot straight through into that hole like so fits nicely into that hole there and then you want to get your sniper sniper scope and this will fit into the bottom of here so you just make sure that that is in there like that just push it all in so you want your long end of your, your thick end of your scope there, your long end of your scope down the bottom here, and it will fit in. And then what you the last bit really that you need to do before you start assembling it all is you need to get this little doohickey here. Make sure that that viewfinder that you would use as your grenade launcher is sticking straight up, and this handle is sticking straight up. Now, one word of advice, on the bottom of here, as you can see, there's a longer bit, which is the tab. That needs to be at the back. These rocket launchers need to go on. So with these rocket launchers, like I say, make sure that's at the back. Make sure your rocket launchers are facing forward. So they're facing away from the long end piece. Now, inside, there's a little runner on both sides of here, and there's a, there's a gap just there. So you need to make sure that that runs down the inside of there and this runs along there so you're basically left with that's your handle which will fit into there and this runs over that again the same with this one just make sure your face is facing the right way and then this scope part just folds over the top and holds it all in place it's a great thing with this nothing falls apart it all holds together really 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 well Okay, so that's all your pieces hidden now. So there's nothing else left that's just spare or running around anywhere. It's just all your main pieces. So what you need to do now is now you've got your main part of your camera is if you get this shield, this will now form the base. So you've got one on the top of there and two on there. The one needs to go on the front underneath the viewfinder's lens. And there's three ports on the bottom that you can see sticking out just there. And there's three holes on the bottom of your bots. Just line it up and push them into the bottom of there. So they all, it will pull this together and hold it in place. Like so. And then these bits need to just lock underneath these guys. 
So you just push them up and they lock into place, like so. And that's that now. That's the camera almost finished. So what you now need to do is get these two bits that we use as a shoulder rocket things and just clip them together like so. So you've got the AFX at the front and this little black circle square at the, at the back there. That goes over the top of Viewfinder's head. There's a tab on the bottom of here, as you can see, there's a longer bit, and there's a hole in the top, of, just in front of his face. And that goes over the top of there, just push it down into place. And that hides his face, done. Then you want to get this camera lens, and over the top of Spectra's face, again, there's a tab, a, a, a long tab, and then there's a hole. And you can just slot that over the top of his face. That forms your camera, lens, uh, camera flash, like so. Now you could put this on the other side if you wanted to and cover up Spectro's face. However, he's meant to be the button. And he does, his head does look a bit like a button. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to have a different look, I suppose you could cover up his face, but it will go onto this side, the flash will go on that side. So it's completely up to yourself how you want to do it. Um, but he is meant to be the button. On the back, obviously, you can see his face, which isn't great, but like I say, you, he is meant to be the button. So you just... Then you want to get your lens, and then obviously the hole in viewfinder, and there's a hole in the bottom of there that just plugs straight into that like that. Then you have your camera. So that's that's it. That's your camera. Then you've got your tripod. There's a hole in the bottom of there. There's a hole on the, well, a, a post on the top of that. That just plugs into there. And you can open your legs and stand it up exactly how you want it to be and pose it and stuff. And uh, it stands really well. The tripod legs hold it very, very, very well, as you can see. It's just on my hand. And it holds very well. And um, and yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely sized camera. I mean, that's the G1 Swerve. And he comes, to, you know, as high as a stand. Um, there's Legends Class Swerve. And, um, and he's taller than that. Um, I also have Generations Wheeljack. Which, is, there you go, is that sort of, he, he's bigger than that, but not by much. So if you, you know, if you've got some big massive combiner or, and you needed a camera for him, you could use him as, as your camera for your combiner, which is, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, he's a really, really, really nice bot. And, um. I highly, highly recommend you guys pick this up if you're interested in reflectors. I know there's another one. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's it, it's very it's bigger. So if you wanted a bigger one, if this is too small for you, then I highly, you know, I'd go for the bigger one um, because it is tiny. Um, but once you get used to this, I think he's a fantastic piece. He really is nice and he's well worth the money of picking him up, either this one or the green one. And um, and yeah, I highly advise it getting it. It's a really, really good figure. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this. As I say, I've wanted to do this for a long time. So um, so yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>